What's going on doggies and welcome to a 24 hour food challenge. Okay, so before we do anything right now, look at this sunrise. It is so good. Look at it. It's popping its beautiful head up there. That's epic. Okay, so right now it is 6.37 in the morning. So for the next 24 hours, I am not allowed to eat anything unless I catch it or find it. Just behind me here, behind those trees, there's a big cliff that goes down to the rocks, which enters the water. That's where I'm gonna be fishing, and I'm guessing that's where I'm gonna to sleep tonight. I have no idea where I'm gonna sleep. I've got nothing to sleep with. I've literally only got this fishing rod and the backpack on my back, so I'm guessing I'm just gonna be sleeping on the rocks tonight. I've got no idea. I don't know what we're gonna do. Don't really have any plans, but I can tell you right now, it's gonna be fun. Look at the conditions. It is so nice right now. And where I want to be fishing is down here somewhere. So I've got to make my way down this cliff. So I've got to get I've got to get down there. This is super sketchy. Don't bloody fall. I've got like a 20 kilo backpack on. <laughs> Here we go, this rope's gonna help me out a bit. Here we go, here we go. Wow. Look how deep it is here. This looks really good. All right, that's the end of the rope. The rest of this is on me. That was a gnarly little climb. Down that, if that rope wasn't there, it would be really hard, but um, the rope's there and it was actually pretty fun. So we're down here, we're on location, and my friend Alex is here. Let's see if he's hooked up yet. He got here way earlier than I did. The boys are here. Good morning, brother. Yeah. How are you? Thank you, bro. How are you? Look at this. This is magic. All right, I've got to get my stuff set up. I'm fizzing for this. Let's go. Let's see if we can get ourselves a feed. All right, we're ready to rumble. So I've just picked up this new rod. It's a Colt Sniper XR PE5. A lot of you guys ask me what I'm fishing with. So I'm using a, this is an old 2015 Daiwa Soltiga. And this is a Colt Sniper XR PE5 land based popping and jigging rod. It's so sick. To make this morning even better, the legends at Adrenaline Tackle hooked me up with these two lures. These things look ridiculous. I'm excited to use this thing. Handmade, beautiful finish on these lures. Look at that. So this thing looks like it's going to be a dream boat, but I'm going to throw this stick bait first. Like, look at this thing, man. See how these things go. Feels like it's going to cast good. Probably going to swim like a dream boat, but we'll see how it goes. Very excited to use this and on the new rod. Let's see if we can get ourselves some kind of food. Obviously, I'm targeting big fish right now, but I'm sort of going for fun because you know what? I'm not even hungry right now. It's like seven o'clock in the morning now. I'm not hungry, but I guarantee you later on, I'm going to be hungry. We might have to bust out the noodle rod, see if we can get some fish on the noodle rod. Who knows? But it's going to be a sick day. Look at this. Oh.
So I'm guessing that I'm going to sleep in here somewhere because I'm pretty high. That's the water level down there. You can see that the waves have actually come up here before, but I think I'll be safe if I just sleep here. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to camp up tonight, but I mean, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. We've got so much time. I'm just going to keep flicking lures until I hook up. I know there's fish here. I've seen them. Now we're just going to um, put the time in. Hopefully I don't go hungry tonight. <laughs> Oh. Just dropped one. You're joking. They're there. They're just out there. Oh. Come on. Whoa. All right, that was crazy. So. I was just flicking the lure. I've been flicking the lure for so long, my back sore. I'm not giving up. Mahi Mahi just come in and boofed it, but it did. I don't know, they, when they come in and bite it, they're just, they're not smashing it. They're kind of just sniffing it and flicking it, but it definitely came in. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but if we can get a Mahi Mahi on a 24 hour food challenge, they're going to be eating a five star meal. They are my favorite, one of my favorite eating fish and uh, they're a hell fighting fish, so if I can get one, woo, today's gonna be good. Look at this. Wow. So that spot behind me is where we came in today. So we're literally stuck here until the tide goes low. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm actually getting pretty hungry. It's like 11.30, 11.19 to be precise. So I'm gonna go walk around these rock pools. Hopefully I can find some oysters or something. So much for getting these oysters. So the swells, it's not really swell, but it's like you're tired and the seas are coming up and it's like where the oysters are, I will get absolutely maimed right now. So I'm not gonna get oysters. Like the oysters are in here and I just can't get them. See ya brother. Yeah. Be careful on that corner. Yeah, it's hectic. <laughs> <laughs> So it's just you and me now. Everybody's left. I've got the whole entire place to myself. It's actually really sick. Now, this is what I actually love the most when I have like places like this to myself. There's no one here. It's just, I don't know. It's just that feeling of freedom. I don't know, I love it. So um, obviously we still have no food and no fish and it's getting really sketchy to fish in this area just here. Like these waves are just coming in before there was waves breaking up and water coming over this so it's pretty sketchy right now I'm fishing from up the top there just to be safe so the crazy russian took a leap of faith and did that crossing he timed it pretty well he climbed up there and like it was like ding 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 scaled across there and then ran up the cliff before the wave came very lucky all right i've got an idea so i've got my little pot I didn't think I was going to be eating snails, but you know what? I'm just going to have a little feed of these snails, get 20 or 30 of them. It's going to be lunch for today, obviously, until this tide drops. So it's my only option right now. So I've got my little pot. We're going to collect a handful of snails or two handfuls of snails and um, cook them up, I reckon. So this is what I'm going to have to eat. These little snails. That one's tiny. They're really small. There's heaps of them around, but they're um, very small. That's what they look like. That's gonna be lunch. We collect about 20 or 30, and we'll uh, boil them up in the water. Here we go. I'm actually pretty excited about this now. We've got about 20 snails in here. So I've just filled the pot up with a little bit of salt water because they're going to boil the best in salt water. Obviously, they're going to taste beautiful because they're in the salt water. So I'll uh, head up to my bedroom or what I'm going to call my bedroom because I'll probably sleep here tonight, I reckon. I don't know. We'll see what happens with this. See if that swell picks up or I don't know. But I'm going to get the gas cooker out. 
and we're going to have a chew on these little snails. That'll get me through a couple of hours and then I'll just keep fishing and hopefully we can get some. I really thought I would be eating a fish by now, but uh, it's not looking that way. It's been a while since we've used this thing. You guys even remember what this is? I haven't used this thing for so long. I'm actually pretty excited. Oh shit, what's happening? <laughs> it's gonna blow up, way! <laughs> oh my god, I think I just shit myself. I didn't expect that thing just to be like a ball of fire. Why did it do that? I really don't want to hurt myself right now. I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. All right, let's try that again. Here we go, round two. How do you know if it's, oh, that's on, that's good. Look at that. You probably can't even see the flame. Woo. All right, on go our snails. We'll sit them there. They're looking pretty bloody delicious. Now that's a way to cook lunch. I'm actually pretty excited to eat these little suckers. Hey, life's not too bad. Look at this. Sitting in the middle of nowhere, I'm by myself and I'm eating bloody snails for lunch. There you go. I honestly thought we would have had a fish, but um, hey, the day's not over. The day's still young, actually. It is now 1.20, so this is me lunch. I'm gonna eat these and I'll just keep fishing. Hopefully we can get a fish. If not, we'll pack up from here and we'll just start hoofing it around. We'll sleep somewhere else tonight, I'm not sure. I've got actually no idea what we're doing, but I'll wait for these snails to boil and we'll um, check back in. Look at that. That is lunch done. You turn that off. That looks pretty bloody good to me. Lunch is ready. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're gonna do. These are our snails. Most people use a knife and fork. Today we're using a fishing hook because what you gotta do, once the snail is cooked, you gotta get it out of its shell and sometimes it can be hard, so you just use the fishing hook or a pin or anything you've got and just like slop him out like that. Get rid of this hard little protective layer. It's like their face. And this is what you're left with. Beautiful little bit of meat like that. It's actually really tasty. It's like super salty and yum because I cooked it in the salt water. Look at this, lunch time. So good, man. Not even joking, they actually taste pretty good. But, and it's really good getting them out of their like little rock holes like that because there's absolutely no sand in it. So that is just like a pure piece of meat. I'm pretty sure in Australia, well, I know in Australia we have a similar shell called a periwinkle, but it's it's smooth. These are like bumpy texture on top there. I absolutely love doing stuff like this. This is so good, man. I much prefer to eat snails like this here than being in a restaurant eating a bloody pizza or something. This is way better. Being out in nature, mate. I'm just going to sit here and finish all of these snails. Like seriously, I'm going to eat every one of them. And then I'll probably try to start fishing again. That tide should start turning and we should be on. Hopefully we're on. If not, I don't know what we're going to do for dinner. All right, so we got lunch done. That was absolutely delicious actually. I really enjoy those snails. If you guys are ever like down the beach and you see them, 
You should try eating snails. If you boil them in the salt water, they actually taste pretty good. Now I'm just going to concentrate on fishing and trying to get a fish. So I'm going to stand back on that rock. I'm just going to be piffing that lure. Piff, piff, piff. Hopefully we can hook up to a fish because a nice fillet on that little frying pan this afternoon at sunset is going to be a dream before I sleep on these rock hard rocks. <laughs> rock hard rocks. Dirt. All right, guys. I'm going to start fishing and um, hopefully we hook up. If not, we're going to hoof it somewhere else and hopefully there's fish there. Come on, big dog. Boss. All right, so I, can you, I don't know if you guys can see this, but just here, there are bait fish getting absolutely just slaughtered. They're not bait fish, they're like tuna about this big, and they are getting absolutely slaughtered, man. They're jumping out of the water everywhere. Why? Come on. That was psycho! Should have seen him jumping out of the water, that was crazy, man! Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Oh, come on, come on! Yes! No! Oh my f***ing god! What is this happening? What is going on right now? So that was like... A big, big old barracuda. It's obviously hassling those little tuna out there, but look at this, man. Absolutely just stuffed this lure. Two big teeth there, one big tooth here. Holy moly, man. That's a big fish. If we catch a fish like that, I'm just going to release it because pff, that'll feed a family of 25. That was a big barracuda. <laughs> I don't know what's going on today, but I've lost three fish now and I'm not hooking them, but they're just smashing lures. Like this morning, the boys lost two mahis and a barracuda, and I lost a barracuda this morning too. So I don't know what is going on out here, but um, I'm getting back out there. That was insane, dude. That gets the bloody heart racing. That was sick. Even though I didn't hook up that fish just then, just to see it buffing the lure, that was just, that was epic, man. So I just casted about another bloody 20, 30 minutes casting at the same spot or the same area and nothing. It's obviously gone deep or just swum on, but what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pack up this rod, pack all my stuff up, and we're gonna go for a little bit of a wander. I'm getting bloody hungry again. That sun is racing down it's nearly four o'clock so i still want to go find something for dinner so what we're going to do is just climb back up that cliff we came in on and we'll just start punching up the coast try to find oysters there's oysters here but i think i'm going to leave them because i might come back and sleep here like that cave is pretty sick i don't think the swell is going to pick up overnight big enough to um get me up there so i reckon i might sleep there tonight but if we find something better we'll go there for now that's the plan. Oh, this is so sketchy, man. I've got to get around there. And this backpack is really annoying. Ha! If I slipped right now, I'd be pretty, um, feeling pretty sorry for myself. Oy.
<laughs> well, whoever put a rope here is an absolute legend. This is the place that I needed to find. There are oysters absolutely everywhere. And I am gonna get this backpack off, throw this rod down and dig in because I'm bloody hungry again and I reckon it's gonna be my last meal for the afternoon. Time's pushing on. So uh, let's go have a massive feed of oysters. I'm bloody excited about this. <laughs> Don't listen to anything I just said. That's a false alarm. All right, there are, there are hundreds of oysters. There's actually thousands and hundreds of oysters, but they're like this big, man. They're like the size of a penny. And that isn't gonna fill me up. And I reckon that's, I could try fishing, but I think I'm just gonna waste my time the way that it's been going today. So I'm gonna go feed on oysters and I'm gonna go back to where we were. And I'm just gonna sleep there tonight. That's gonna be it. But it's gonna go eat oysters. By the time I walk all the way back over there, find the oysters, eat the oysters, that sun will be down. So I've got to get a move on. I'm going to shoot back over there and feast on those oysters. I know they're there. All right, let's go doggies. Why? Why did I even leave this place? I am sweating bullets right now. That is an absolute mission. Whew. All right, I'm not leaving. I'm sleeping here. I'm eating oysters here and um, I don't really know what else I can do. I'll just fish till it goes dark I suppose and maybe we'll try to put that fish on the fire, on the frying pan. I can't even talk, I'm exhausted from that walk. All right, and I'm also really hungry so I'm gonna go splash my face and destroy those oysters. And guess what, you're coming with me. Look at this, that is going to be... <laughs> oh my goodness. That's unbelievable, man. I'm gonna eat like 50 of these. This is the freshest oyster ever. Look at that, man. Huh. The never ending trail of oysters. I reckon this is actually probably better than eating fish right now. Look at that juicy thing. That is, a, that is a big oyster for this area. I think I've just found my favorite place. Check that out. That is my dinner and that is absolutely bloody beautiful. Look at that. That is heavenly. See ya. This is where the big boys live, man. Oh, look at the size of this oyster. Look at that thing, man. Ha! It's huge. That was a five star meal right there. I just ate about, I don't even know, like 30 oysters. I'm actually full. I'm not even hungry anymore. I don't even need to catch a fish. I actually just filled myself up on oysters. That was epic. People pay big money for oysters, man. I'm just down there grazing them like a coward's grass. So good. All right, I want to show, I want to show you guys where I'm going to sleep because I haven't really thought this through, right? I didn't even like bring a mattress. I didn't bring anything. I just said, I'm gonna go for 24 hours, said goodbye to my girlfriend and I left the house. So, yeah, I didn't even think of anything. So this is where I'm sleeping. That right there is my bed. There's a little bit of cardboard. I'm gonna put that there. And inside my bag, I have a raincoat. 
It's like a thin rain jacket. So I'm just going to lay that on the ground. And that is going to be my bed for the night. It's going to be a very, very interesting sleep. Oh, it's actually not too bad, you know? I can do this. Yeah, there's a couple of rocks in my back, but once I've sort that out... Look at that, mate. That's five-star accommodation right here. The only problem I have right now is that I don't have anything to cover my legs. If the mozzies get hectic, or there's no mozzies so far, but if they do get bad, I'm going to have to put that jacket over my legs and I'll just have to sleep straight on the rocks. But I've slept, slept in a lot worse places. It's all good. I've got a full belly. I've got a nice little house. The other thing that I thought which freaks me out is the top of this, man. So like, I'm like sitting under this cave right now. Like this is where I am. And I, imagine if something was falling or the cave falls when I'm sleeping. That's probably something that I don't want to think about. So I'm going to try not to, but um, yeah, I'm just going to lay down here and just literally I'll probably fall asleep in the next hour. So if anything gnarly happens while I'm sleeping, I'll wake up and I'll film it. I'll probably try to tie my legs to a rock so I don't get carried away by mosquitoes or bugs or ants. But yeah, if anything sick happens, I'll record it. And if not, I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early. Hopefully we can cook other fish. Doggies, see you in the morning. Oh, man. All right, it's time to wake up. It's exactly <laughs> it's exactly six o'clock on the dot. How's that for timing? Oh, yeah. oh, what a sleep, man. I actually had a pretty bloody good sleep. It's not too bad. I don't I didn't get bitten by any mosquitoes. There was a couple of rocks in my back which were pissing me off, but I, once I got rid of them, I actually like slept through the whole entire night, so. That's good. And it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. That sun is just starting to, like, that sky is just starting to go blue now. I don't know if you guys can see, it's still pretty dark, but... I did bring coffee, so I'm going to make a coffee. We'll quickly get the little cooker out, boil up some water. I'll make a coffee and then... I think... I don't even know, I need to wake up. Let's stand up. Oh, yeah. Oh, my back. All right, I think... What I really want to do before I fell asleep last night, I was thinking like a land-based mahi-mahi I've never caught before. I saw one yesterday, so that's what I'm going to go for today. I really want to get a mahi-mahi land-based, so let's boil this coffee up and I'm going to start flicking lures. Oh, it's a beautiful morning, actually. Oh, I need to wake up. Oh, that's perfect. First pop. <laughs> All right. <gasps> oi, it's doing it again. Oi, 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 oi. This thing's hectic. Oh, chuck our water on there. Probably enough for 50 coffees, but that'll do. This is good. All right, so I'm going to um, set up my fishing gear now while that water boils, smash a quick coffee, and we are going to get out there. We're going to get a dolly today. <laughs> Fingers crossed. The best thing about this is that we have coffee. I am pretty pumped about it. And it's ready. The only thing is I don't have a cup, so I've just found a plastic bottle someone's left here and i'm just going to use that that's going to be my coffee cup this morning and um things are looking up it is a beautiful day actually it's actually really nice so it's right now it's a dead low tide it's coming up to high so high tide is at 12 o'clock today so we'll be fishing the whole entire high tide and i think what are we doing here we need water i think we're going to push this um 24 hour challenge way over because I'm fishing again. <laughs> you 
me coffee cup's changing shape. No! Have a go at it, would ya? Got my coffee. I am absolutely frothing right now. And drink this coffee. A couple of local boys have just come down here and started fishing, so I'm not alone, but that's all good, man. All right, I'm gonna have to finish this coffee and we'll um, get into it. Good job, brother. Slater's got a little mahi. That's killer. <laughs> All right, so we're doing barista sessions times two. So Alex from yesterday just rocked up. I call him the Russian. Anyway, he's just rocked up and um, he wants a coffee. So I'm boiling water. We're going to make him a coffee and then we'll start flicking again. There's quite a few people here, actually. There's like five down there me and alex seven people fishing on that one rock so it's going to be a busy morning but um that guy got the one mahi and that is a beautiful little fish we've seen the fish we saw yesterday were like twice as big as that three times as big as that so that's what i want to hook up to we'll put this adrenaline lure to the test and um see if we can get a big hook up but right now we are boiling water again all right so just as our water was boiling one of the boys is on Let's go see what he got. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, it's a wahoo. No way. Yeah. Yeah, doggy, well done. Thank you, different. What are we doing, man? Me and Alex are just sitting here making coffees, and the boys are catching wahoo off the rocks. That's something that I've never heard. I've never seen anyone catch a wahoo lamb base before. So the reason that we're catching these fish, or not me, but these people are catching these fish, this here where I'm fishing right now is the deepest point in Bali. This literally just drops off to, I don't even know how deep it is, but it's the deepest point. So that's why these deep water fish are coming into the land. So it's a sick spot and I'm not even fishing. I don't even really care. I'm just having a hell of a time on the rocks, just talking to the boys and yeah, the 24 hour food challenge is officially over, but Obviously still don't have any food out here. I've got coffee and I'm frothing. That's all we need. Oh, you would never believe what just happened. I just got absolutely railed just then. I think it was, it looked like a big, big dog barracuda. It just came in and it just boofed that lure off the surface. Big splash, big silver flash and gone. I didn't even have time to hit record on my GoPro. I am spewing, but I also lost the lure. So if you guys know what barracuda's teeth look like, they're big and they're gnarly so i have just lost that lure spewing but i got this one to use i'm going to start flicking this one around this thing looks like a little demon if you guys want to pick these up i'll leave the description in the i'll leave the link in the description below because they're pretty sick that one just got hammered by a big dog and um i reckon i'm going to love yous and leave yous because i'm just going to sit here and fish for the rest of the day so you guys probably don't want to see me casting seven million times like i have been so Thanks for watching, doggies. Much love. I'm probably not going to eat for the rest of today either, so it's all right. I love this kind of shit. See you in the next one, guys. Go!